Hello grade 8 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video lesson, ay magso-solve tayo ng problems regarding parallel lines cut by a transverse line. So we're in we have here our given illustration Line R is parallel with line S cut by a transversal T. We are going to find the value of X for us to find the value of the given angles. The most important thing here is, kailangan ay alam nyo yung properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. So, we're in, kapag meron tayo ditong uh, parallel lines cut by a transversal, ay makakabuo tayo ng iba't ibang angle pairs and relationships. So, meron akong uh, separate video regarding that. So, much better na panoorin nyo muna. Or kaya naman, kapag alam nyo na yung mga angle pairs and relationships, ay madadalian na kayo to tell whether the two given angles ay congruent or supplementary. So, let's have first the review. Corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Same side interior angles are supplementary. So let's have the first example. Measure angle 2. So let me say this is angle 2. Is 3x plus 1. And then, the measurement of angle 6 is 4x minus 24. So, let us first find the value of x. So, para malaman kung paano natin i-equate or paano tayo magkakaroon ng equation for us to solve the value of x, i-identify muna natin yung angle um, relationship na in exhibit or ipinapakita ni angle 2 and angle 6. So, they are corresponding angles. And according to the properties, they are congruent. So, i-equate natin na dapat sila equal. So, we have here 3x plus 1 and it must be equal to 4x minus 24. So, that's how we equate uh, angle 2 and angle 6. Since they are corresponding angles and according sa properties, they must be congruent. Then after that, combine like terms, so it will become, so 3x, and then 4x, it will become negative 4x by getting the additive inverse equals negative 24, and then positive 1, it will become negative 1. Again, combine like terms, so nilipat lang natin yung 4x sa kabila, so it will become negative 4x. Then, bring down negative 24, then positive 1, the additive inverse is negative 1. And then, simplify. So, 3x minus 4x is negative x. So, hindi na natin isusulat yung 1. So, it is understood na ang constant ng x ay 1. Again, 3x or 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So, you have here negative x equals. And then, negative 24 minus 1. So, la like sign a, then copy the sign. So, we have here negative 25. Then, multiply both sides by negative 1. So, it will become x equals to positive 25. So, this will be the value of x. So, for us to find the value of, um, uh, to find the measurement of angle 2, so we just substitute the value of x, which is 25. So, measurement of angle 2 is equal to 3x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 25 plus 1. And then 3 times 25 is 75 plus 1. We have here 76. So therefore, angle 2 is 76 degrees or the measurement of angle 2 is 76. At kailangan yung ating measurement angle 6 ay 76 then because they are congruent. So, measurement of angle 6 equals 4x minus 24 equals to 4 times 25 minus 24. 
So, 4 times 25, you have 100, minus 24 is 76. So, that's it. For number 1, the value of x is 25, and the measurement of angle 2 and angle 6 is 75 degrees. So, let's have another example. Okay, 2. Measure angle 1 equals to 8x plus 8. So, ito yung ating angle 1. And then, measurement of angle 7 is 5x plus 3. So, ano kayang angle pair relationship ang ina-exhibit or ipinapakita ni angle 1 and angle 7? So, same side. And accord, uh, same side exterior. And according sa properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal, same side exterior angles are supplementary. So, when we say supplementary, when we add the two angles, the sum must be equal to exactly 180 degrees. So, therefore, we need to add the two angles at kailangan ang maging result niya ay 180 degrees. So, we have for measurement of angle 1, so we have here 8x plus 8. And then, Lagyan natin ng parenthesis. So, plus 5x plus 3. And it must be equal to 180 degrees. Again, since angle 1 and angle 7 is supplementary, so when we add the, two, uh, the measurement of the two angles, it must be equal to 180 degrees. Next, combine like terms. So, we have here 8x plus 5x. So, we have here 13x. 8 plus 3 is 11 equals 180 degrees or 180. Then, 13x equals to 180. Ilipat natin yung 11 dito sa kabila or get the additive inverse of positive 11. It will become negative 11. Then, 13x equals to 180 minus 11 is 169. And then, by applying the multiplication property of equality, so we need to multiply both sides by 1 over 13 or simply divide both sides by 13. Cancel. So, x equals to 169 divides 13 is 13. So, therefore, the value of x is 13. So, lagi lang natin dito, x equals to 13. So, let us find the value of each angle. At kailangan, pag in natin yung dalawang angle, it must be equal to 180 degrees. So, we have here, measure angle 1 equals to 8x plus 8 equals 8 times 13 plus 8. So, 8 times 13, so we have here 8 times 3 is 24, carry 2, then 8, 10, so 104 plus 8. So, measure angle 1 is 104 plus 8 is 112. So, the measurement of angle 1 is 112. So, how about angle 7? So, measure angle 7 equals to 5x plus 3. So, we just substitute x as 13 plus 3. Then, multiply 5 times 13. So, 5 times 3 is 15. Carry 1. So, 65 plus 3. So, measurement of angle 7 is 65 plus 3 is 68. So, kapag binag-adba natin si angle 1 at si angle 7, ang sum ay 180 degrees. So, it must be, no, para siya ay maging supplementary. So, 112 and 168, 112 plus 68 is 180 degrees. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Again, the value of x is 13, and then measurement of angle 1 is 112, and measurement angle 7 is 68. Okay. So, for our last item, we have here number 3. Measurement of angle 3 is 4x plus 33. So, ito yung ating angle 3. And then, measurement of angle 6 equals to 6x minus 13. So, angle 3 and angle 6 I alternate interior angles. And according to the properties, they must be 
congruent. Again, alternate interior angles are congruent. So therefore, 4x plus 33, that is the measurement of angle 3, must be equal to the measurement of angle 6, which is 6x minus 13. Again, since they are alternate interior angles, so they must be equal with one another. So let us find the value of x. So 4x and then the additive inverse of 6x is negative 6x. So we are now combining like terms. The negative 13, positive 33, so it will become negative 33. So minus 33. Then 4x minus 6x is negative 2x equals negative 13 minus 33 so like sign add then copy that sign so negative 46 so we have here negative 46 and then applying the multiplication property of equality so we can divide uh, multiply both sides by negative one half or simply divide both sides by negative two so cancel so x equals so, since negative divides negative is positive, so 46 divides 2 is 23. So, the value of x is equal to 23. So, let us write. So, x equals to 23. So, let us find the value of angle 3 and angle 6. So, let's start with angle 3. So, measurement angle 3 equals to 4x plus 33 so equals to 4 let us substitute the value of x which is 23 so x is 23 plus 33 so 4 times 23 so 4 times 3 is 12 carry 1 so 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so we have here 92 plus 33 so, measurement angle 3 equals to 92 plus 33. So, you have here 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Then, 9 plus 3 is 12. So, 125. At kailangan yung measurement ng angle 6 natin, then I 125 because they must be equal or congruent with one another. So, lagi natin dito. Measurement angle 6 equals to 6x minus 13. So, we just substitute the value of x which is 23. So, 6 times 23 minus 13 equals so 23 times 6 so we have 6 times 3 is 18 carry 1 so 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13 so 138 minus 30 so measurement angle 6 equals to 138 minus 13 is 125 so the value of x is 23 the measurement of angle 3 is 125, same with the measurement of angle 6. So that's how we find the value of x and the values of the given angles. Again, take note that first, kailangan nyo malaman yung kanilang uh, relationship, yung two angles. So para malaman nyo kung siya ay congruent or supplementary. So if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this with others. And see you on our next video lesson. So thank you for watching.